I don't have my seeds ready. I haven't planted one seed. And the next thing you know, it's going to be January. I am not prepared. I don't have a place to put the seeds. I don't have a light. I just don't know what I'm going to do. But I got an idea. We have a small cabbage patch garden that I'm working on. And it's just a, a small garden, like I said. I, I think it's like 20 by 16 or something. I don't know what it is. But anyway, I, I want to plant a few vegetables down there. And I planted some broccoli and some cauliflower uh, in December. And it's doing pretty good. I had to uh, shelter it a couple times. Uh, we had a couple frost, But so far, so good. The broccoli's looking good. And I'm pretty excited about it. But eventually, we're going to have some more vegetables down there. And I got to get my seeds in something so I can get them started. Otherwise, I'll be going to the store buying plants for like $22 a plant or whatever it is now. But anyway, so I'm, uh, I'm looking for some materials so I can uh, help myself out. Now, of course, when you don't know what you're doing, where do you go? YouTube. There's thousands and thousands of videos that tell you how to plant seeds and where to plant them and how to get them to grow and how not to do it and how to do it. And Anyway, so I've been watching gobs and gobs of YouTube channels trying to get some information and there's some really good ones out there but what I try to do is I try to look at everybody's videos and see what they say and try to make my own analysis as to what I'm going to do so I'm going to make a grow box I'm going to put some lights in it and uh, I want you to watch I'll uh, do all the work and all you have to do is just see what I do and maybe it's something you might want to do I don't know but anyway that's what the video is about here at the settlement we have a saying use it up wear it out make do or do without and that pretty much goes along with my thinking because i am cheap so i'm i'm going around i'm trying to find materials to make my seed growing operation and i'm trying to find things that i don't have to spend money on because you know how things are today Ooh, doggies lots of money anyway so i'm trying to find things that are already here that i can use so i walked over to our shed and did a little shopping for free free shopping and I found this seed pack, this seed starter kit. It's too big, I can use the soil, it's got all the nutrients that I want, and I can break it up and put it in a different container. And uh, I think I'll be good to go. Not that, not McDonald's. I don't know what that is. But I think, I think these are gonna work. They're, uh, they were bought at the store. I think I can wash them out, and uh, I get six plants per, and that'll be perfect for my little grow box and we can get rocking cheaper it's better i saw it when i opened the door it's got a lid clear and it's free let's see what i have down here it's perfect that's what i was looking for it's from the chicken brooder that'll be my lamp and it's free I don't have light bulbs. I got everything I need except for light bulbs. I got to go find some light bulbs. Now, from what I've gathered watching all these videos is I'm looking for a light bulb with 1,500 to 3,000 lumens and 4,500 to 6,500 Kelvin. So I got to go to the store and find a light bulb or two. Okay, everything can't be free. I had to pay for the light bulbs. Well, that's not too bad. $8.50 for two LED light bulbs. You know, $4.25 for this project. That's not too bad. I made up a compass and I drew out a, an eight inch diameter hole in the center of the lid. And I marked it with a magic marker and I started hacking on it with a utility knife. Actually, I went through two utility knives. Be careful, don't cut yourself, cause those things are sharp. I didn't cut myself, but I went ahead and cut it out. And uh, like I said, it wasn't easy. Uh, the lid was really thick and it took me a little while. Now the videos I watched, they said, you know, whoop, whoop, and they were done. They must've been really thin. Anyway, I got it done. I got a hole in my lid. I put the shop light up into the lid and let the lid sit on top of it and sort of hold it down. And I took a marker and I marked four holes on either side of the uh, light diffuser. Then I drilled each hole with an eighth inch drill bit. And then I passed a wire that was an eighth inch also, it was 12 inches long, I passed it through so it would secure the light to the lid. And I thought it looked pretty good. Look at it, both sides, it looks pretty darn good. 
Now I told you I watched gobs of videos and I didn't like the way they cut that little T-slot in it and clamped it on there. It looked sort of flimsy, the light hung down and you know, light's heavier than the clamp would hold and I don't know, it didn't look good. So I wanted to come up with a better idea, something different. So the light's in the lid and I'm ready to start planting seeds. Make my seedlings grow. No, not really. I don't like the idea of putting books and boards and all types of different things up under my seed my seedlings, my seedling containers uh, to hold it up to the light. And as it grows, you got to take them out and all that good stuff. So I came up with a different idea. And believe me, there was some trial and error that went along with it because I wasn't quite sure what I was doing. And I ain't one of them mathematical geniuses. I don't even know how to spell trigonometry. So the stock that I'm using is, uh, it's about one and a quarter inches wide and about a half inch thick. And uh, I went over to the radial arm saw and I cut up my stock. I cut four 12 and a half inch boards. And then I cut 10 11 inch boards. The 11 inch boards are gonna be my supports and then the, the 12 and a half inch boards are gonna be my side supports. You'll see, it'll all come together, watch. After I cut all my supports, I went over to the table saw and I cut me a piece of 3 8 inch plywood. The first cut was 11 inches wide and then I went over to the radial arm saw and I went over there and I cut the uh, board off the length at 17 and a half inches. Starting with the bottom board, I drilled two holes, I installed two screws and I worked my way up, spacing each board at 3 eighths of an inch to accept the shelf that I cut. You'll see, it'll all come together. So it looks a little bit like a bookshelf. You got two side supports and then you got a shelf. And that shelf, I can move up to each one of those levels as the plant grows. I don't know, I think it's pretty exciting. I hope it works. So I put the shelf on the very top because that's probably where I'll start off. And then I lower it down into the plastic container. And once it's in the container, I put the top on. It looks like it's right at the, the diffuser, but actually the bulb's up in there. So it's about two inches away from the uh, light bulb. And that's about exactly where you want to keep the light, about two inches away from the uh, light and as the plant grows like I said you just keep moving it down and try to keep two inches now as you move the shelf down the next position it gets you about four inches from the uh, light bulb and you know that's going to depend on how your plant grows and all that good stuff but the the idea is the two inches is to keep the plant from being so leggy you don't want it to shoot up trying to catch the light so as I go I move it down I move it down until finally I'm I take the side supports out and then you can set the plant right down on the bottom of the plastic container and by that time it's nice and bushy and you're ready to take it outside and start hardening it getting it ready to go in the ground or something like that you get the idea as the plant's growing you're going to move the shelf down you know to get the light where you want it to to be and uh you know if you don't mind throwing a few books in there i think that's easy too i just like to come up with stuff that's different i don't know if it's going to be a whole lot better but it feels good to me. Your dimensions might be a little bit different than mine, depending on the size of your light, the size of your plastic container, and, and all those other things. But you get the concept. The idea is that you want to, you know, create your shelf that it allows the plant to grow and you can move it down and adjust it. And you don't have to be hauling stuff around. I think I said that already. I'm starting to repeat myself. Let's wrap this up real quick. Oh, and I'm not sure if I said it or not, but the light bulb that I picked up over there at the Dollar Tree was $8.50. That's $4.25 per light bulb. It was uh, 1,525 lumens and 5,000 Kelvin. So that was the ballpark I was shooting for, and hopefully I'm gonna take my seedlings and drop them in that uh, a little light grow light box and they're going to boom grow and be beautiful and I can get them in the ground I'll be eating vegetables for the the, the, the night comes anyway I hope I gave you some ideas uh, some of the things that you might want to do I wish you luck in all your uh, adventures and everything that you're doing as far as you know getting your seedlings planted and building your uh, light box your grow light box and until later thanks for your time bye